the Permian period, a period that spans around 47 million years from the end of the Paleozoic era to the beginning of the Mesozoic era, also known as the Age of Dinosaurs. One of the more interesting events in this episode has to be the Permian-Triassic extinction event, which killed nearly 96% of all marine species and 70% of all terrestrial life. It was even dubbed the Great Dying. I mean, holy shit, we got a dark and depressing episode to jump into today on Down the Line. How's it going, everyone? I'm your host, Pete, and you're listening to Down the Line, a podcast where we go down the timeline of everything, starting from the beginning to basically whenever I stop this project, which I don't see happening anytime soon. I really do love doing this, and I'm happy that others seem uh, to like it too. Thanks to all the new listeners. I'm glad to have some new time travelers joining us. And speed of time travel, let's jump back to the beginning of the Permian period, now at around 299 million years ago. All right, here we are. The Permian period, 299 to 252 million years ago. The Carboniferous rainforest collapse, an extinction event occurring at the end of the last episode, left behind vast regions of desert around the middle of the continents. The world at this time had two supercontinents, one being the familiar Pangaea and the other being Siberia. The Earth was also covered in a global ocean called Panthalassa. Emniotes, who could better cope with these drier conditions, dominated in the place of their amphibian ancestors. So now let's get to the series in their inner ages, as well as the starting life in these times. We start with the Scissor Alien series. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but you know how this goes. If you if you're <laughs> if you're uh, unfamiliar with this channel so far, you're gonna listen to some past episodes and uh, find out just how bad at pronunciation I am because it's bad. So uh, the first age of the Scissor Alien is known as the Asselian. <laughs> The Asselian lasted from around 299 to 296 million years ago. It is known as the age where fossils of the Conodont, here we go, here's another one of these confusing names, Streptino, <laughs> Streptionathodus isolatus first appeared. And then next, we have the Secmarian, an age that lasted from around 296 to 290 million years ago. It is marked by the first appearance of the Conodont species, Suetonathus murillii. And then third, we have the, let's see if I could pronounce this, Artinskian Age. This age lasted from around 290 to 280 million years ago. It's marked by the first appearance of the Conodont species, Sweet Onathus Whitey, and the Conodont species, Mesogondol, <laughs> Mesogondolella Bicelli. Finally, we have, well, not finally, I guess we have a couple more to go after this, but next we have the Kungurian, which lasted around 280 um, or lasted between 280 and 272 million years ago. It is marked by the first appearance of the conodont species Neostreptonathodus nevi and the conodont species Neostreptonathodus uh, ex culpus. And now we go into the Guadalupian series, the second series of the Permian period. So we just finished the first one, so now we're going to go to the ages of this one. The first age in this series is known as the Rhodian Age. The Rhodian lasted between around 272 and 269 million years ago. It marks the first appearance of the Conodont species, Genogondoella nankingensis. The second age is known as the Wardian, which lasted around 269 to 265 million years ago. It marked the first appearance of the Conodont species, Genogondoella, or let me see if I could do that again better, G no. <laughs> Gino Gondolella Acerata. The last in this series is known as the Capetian, which lasted from around 265 and 260 million years ago. A significant mass extinction event occurred at the end of this age, which is associated with volcanic eruptions that produced the Emsian Traps. These eruptions probably acidified the oceans, killing lots of marine and terrestrial life. This extinction event, interestingly enough, might be related to the more horrific Great Dying extinction event at the end of this episode. It looks to me like this might be a slow beginning to the end of the episode extinction event. This age marked the first appearance of the Conodont species, Gingonodella postsereta. Now the last series of the Permian is known as the Lopingian series. It has the two final ages of the Permian. So let's just blow past these motherfuckers and get back to our present timeline. 
First, we got the Wikipingian Age, which lasted from around 260 to 254 million years ago. It is marked by the first appearance of the conodont species Clarkina postbitera. And last but not least, we have the Chengxian Age. This age was named after Qingjing in northern Zhejiang, China. And my apologies on the pronunciation. Uh, <laughs> I'm obviously not very good with my Chinese pronunciation, but uh, you know, you can let me know how it's supposed to go or or uh, tell me how to fix it, how to make it sound better. Anyway, uh, it lasted from around 254 to 252 million years ago. The conodont species Clarkina wang appeared around this time. The age, series, period, and eon all ended with the Permian-Triassic extinction event, also known, of course, as the Great Dying. The world after the extinction was almost lifeless, deserted, hot, and dry. Ammonites, fishes, insects, and the tetrapods remained rare and took millions of years to recover. With that horribly depressing end to our episode, and this uh, Paleozoic series of episodes, we are brought into the Triassic period, into the Mesozoic Eon. We got the Age of Dinosaurs coming up in our next series of episodes on Down the Line. So thank you guys so much for listening to this podcast. I always want to say thank you so much for watching, but you're not really watching, you're more listening. So, you know, I don't know why I had to bring that up, but... (laughs) Um, thank you guys so much for listening. If you really enjoyed the episode, uh, let me know or let me know if, you know, if there's anything I can do to improve it. You could see like there was some kind of audio stuff in here that I tried to add to make it a little more interesting. And, uh, I hope you guys like that. If not, let me know. Uh, and this is, I know this is kind of a shorter episode, but, uh, the next one's going to be really exciting. We're going into like, you know, dinosaurs and I can compare them to, uh, movies with dinosaurs. That I like, so yeah, I'll see you next time on down the line.